Hey guys, welcome back to the web mini-series around most useful penetration testing and bug bounty hunting tools. Today I'm going to show you something called short.io. It's a website, uh, as the name indicates, it's all around JSON web tokens, short tokens. They're heavily used in authentication process, right? Like, so you provide username and password and then you get a cookie set, which is a char token. And then those char, to char tokens often have a lot of vulnerabilities, right? So if you have the char token, there's tons of tools to do this, right? Like char, char token typically looks like this, right? So you can see this, this is in three colors. The red portion is the header. The magenta portion is the payload and the light blue uh, portion here is the footer or the signature, right? And what it does basically is it allows you like to change things, right? Like for example, um, this is for example, so it, it detects the algorithm, like when you put a chart token in which you captured in a request and it detects the algorithm, but you could change the algorithm like to RS256, right? Like for example, um, let's something like something like 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 this right um but you uh, most importantly is the payload portion because sometimes customers have like names in there or sensitive information in there or um you know like for example the the, the expiry date and things like that so um usually you should not have like clear text information which is like decodable just like that right like like names name a name and email address um may already constitute to a bug on its own for information disclosure dependent on the severity of the application or like what what kind of of, of application you're dealing with but like i've seen that there was account numbers in there right like an, an account number is certainly like pii information personally identifiable information and you should not disclose an account number or you should obfuscate it or hash it or whatnot, but it shouldn't be in there in clear text and stuff. And then you can also play with it like here with the, like when you attempt to crack the signature or to see if the signature is verified and all these kind of JSON attacks, but this makes it super easy. Like you can come over here and you have your debugger, you have certain libraries, right? Like which it supports here, which is pretty cool as well it gives you an introduction so what are json web tokens or if you're unfamiliar with it um, it's a nice little learning tool as well and i i find it useful uh, to be honest i do most of my work uh, my work in burp and there's also like the, the json uh, web token editor and things like that which is pretty similar to this but check it out um, it's free if you find it useful then um, that's a good website to bookmark and to add to your toolkit if you like this video, please click the like button and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I see you in the next video.